What's up you sluts, it's your boy Tyler, and today we are getting an infinite number of wild cards. This is a technique that I use, it's kind of slow, but in time it will grow your collection a lot faster than if you don't use it. So the only investment into this strategy is time. First thing that you're going to do is you're going to log out of your account. You're going to hop on the internet and you're going to get on Google. Once you're on Google, you're going to get a temporary email address. Now, if you already have a secondary email address, that works too. That's fine. Once you get your temporary email address, you're going to go back into Magic the Gathering Arena and you're going to create a new account. You might have guessed this already, but you're going to create the new account with a new temporary email address. Some of you can see where we're going with this. Basically, we're creating a second account that we're going to use and that second account is gonna have all of its codes able to be redeemed in the magic shop. Not only that, you'll get all the starter packs, you'll get all the starter decks. You'll basically get a ton of extra free stuff when you first log in. And as a result, you're gonna start out with about 16 uh, rare wild cards and four to eight mythic wild cards. And you can skip this tutorial. The tutorial is fucking bullshit. Uh, nobody likes playing this. Everybody knows how to play. If you're going to play online, it's because you know how to play already because somebody taught you. Um, so you just skip the tutorial by going to settings, clicking account, skip tutorial. Uh, you're going to do the same exact thing after this. Again, you're going to go into account or settings. You're going to go into account. And then you're going to go into uh, skip unlock play modes. So that will unlock everything. Now you might be thinking, well, what's the point? I, I'm gonna lose all my cards if I just start over on a new account. Well, no, you're gonna play this account and you're also gonna play your main account. This will be your alt account. And on your alt account, you're gonna have just as many quests. You're gonna have just as many whatever. Uh, you know, you get all your daily quest rewards, all your mastery, you can redeem all of your codes a second time. Uh, and this way you're kind of getting double the rewards and let's be honest we all play even after we've completed our quests and the fact that you get so many wild cards just for creating an account means that if you have an idea in mind for a deck say it has 16 rare wild cards that you need in order to make this deck and eight mythic wild cards well now you can just create an account you can just play that one deck on that one account and sort of figure out, oh wait a minute, this card sucks. Glad I didn't spend all my wild cards on this one stupid card. Now the next thing that you're gonna do, uh, this is something that you can do on your regular account, you can also do it on your alt account, is you're going to import this deck, you can find it online. And if you have this exact deck in your collection, uh, you'll get 5,000 experience on either account, or on both accounts, which is going to be the case. I'll link the exact details in the description, but the name of the deck has to be The Way Is Open, all lowercase, all one word, with one copy of each of these cards. And you don't actually need to have these cards in your collection in order to get the reward. You just need to create the deck, you need to put the cards, drag and drop them into the deck, even if they're not crafted, necessarily. So now we're going to open up all of those rewards that we get for creating an account and then we're going to open up all of the packs that we get uh, because we got them in the rewards. We also got them from our mastery and we got them from, you know, the daily, uh, the daily quests. And if we start this on a Saturday, that means that if we get our 15 wins, we'll get 15 more wins on the next day for Sunday and have even more mastery on our alt account. Like I said, this strategy is really good if you want to make a new deck in standard, but you're not too sure if you want to spend the wild cards. It's a good way, it takes about 15-20 minutes, and you can create the deck as long as it's only about 16 rare wild cards and a couple of mythic wild cards. Or you can get crazy and have like 10 alt accounts, but nobody wants to do that. 